Hey, Kamaru, it's Men's Health. What's up, guy? You guys are here to see my gym and fridge. Come on in, it's this way. I live here in Boynton Beach, Florida, which is about an hour away from Miami. As we know, Miami is its own country. So in order for me to stay who I am and to stay at the top, I need a healthy distance. All right, are you ready to work out? All right, guys, so I am here at our gym. I'm gonna show you guys what we do each and every time. The most important, first and foremost, is the warm up. How often do you work out? I work out every day. We like to get it in at least two times a week, sometimes three, like when I'm, I don't have a fight schedule. How has your UFC training changed over time? I've been working this hard. I've been working like this for a long, long time, but now it's just a lot more calculated. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to the gym to, to get in a lift anymore. Now I'm doing the functional lifts that are actually going to help me in a fight. So when I grab you, it feels like a gorilla just grabbed you. Do you have a signature move? Do I have a signature move? Ah. You know, George St. Pierre was famous for his jab. You know, I feel like I've kind of taken over that title, but don't get it twisted. Just because I'm jabbing everybody now, that still don't mean I don't wrestle. What's the hardest thing about training as a UFC champion? It's the fact that you know in that you have to train for the world. Everybody in the world is gunning for you. They only have to train for one guy. You have to train for everybody. What kind of training would it take for you to fight Conor McGregor? <laughs> <laughs> they should be asking Conor McGregor what type of training they would take him to fight me. He's looking for uh, someone to fight that would make him relevant again, so, yeah. What is your favorite workout? It would just be a wrestling practice, a hard wrestling practice. There's this thing that we do, I used to do in college called plate pinches. So I would get two plates and I would pinch them together and I would try to hold them for as long as I possibly could until either my fingers were about to fall off or I dropped the plates. What exercise do you hate? Man, to be honest, I don't really hate any of them anymore because once I have a goal, all bets are off. Any and everything that I can do to help me achieve that, I'm going to do. But back in the day, I'm gonna be honest, I used to hate squats. I hated them, but now I love them because it's just the power that you feel from, from just your core, from your hips or your butt. I feel all that power. So I know that when I step into a punch, I might leave me sleep. What keeps you motivated? Initially it was competition, winning, competing against another man, mano y mano, and, and, and getting that W. Now it's my family. Being able to see my family get any and everything that they want is, is, is priceless to me. What's your morning routine? I'm up at 6 a.m., get my daughter up, get her ready for school, make breakfast, I drop her off at school, and then I come in here. Whether it's uh, two, three times a week, I come in here and get the work in. That's my morning routine. What are your fitness goals? <sighs> What are my fitness goals? Be as, as, as fit as possible. I want to be lean, but also be able to have the endurance to, to go five rounds in any given moment. Because you never know when somebody with a loud mouth, maybe an Irish accent, might want to try you. So sometimes you have to go in there at the drop of a dime and remind them why you are the pound for pound king of the world. How do you keep your mind fit? Keeping my mind fit as well kind of goes hand in hand with keeping my body fit. When I'm able to come in here, I might have the stressors of the day, stressors of the week, but when I come in the gym, the release that I get in here from a good hard workout, a good hard sweat, that is priceless because that essentially clears my mind and, and gets me ready. So by the time I walk out of this gym, I'm more focused, I'm more determined, I'm more clear-minded in order to be able to take care of what's happening out there. Let's go check out your fridge. Welcome to La Casa. So this is where the magic happens. You know, most people would say that about the bedroom, but this is where the magic happens in this house. All right, guys, so this is my fridge. What do you always have in your fridge? Some of the big staples that we have in our fridge is most important, is water. If you look through the whole fridge, there's water. It might be, maybe at any given time, four or five different brands of water in here. What does your diet mainly consist of? My diet mainly consists of water, most importantly, at least four times a week. I have to get in some eggs and I'll mix in the spinach in there, some type of fruit at some point later on in the day, apples, blackberries, blueberries, all of the above. We have to at least mix that in there. What do you typically eat on a fight day? I always try to get that good omelet in. I have eggs, 
I would have spinach, peppers in the omelet. Of course, avocado, you need that good fat in you. And some carbs as well, some wheat toast or a croissant. I, I love croissants, so. And then later on in that day, you wanna fuel your body for what's gonna carry you over the competition. So I usually like to get some type of pasta. Of course, I don't wanna do the white sauce that's gonna be milky and things of that nature, but I do the red sauce, kind of the tomato sauce, make it light on your body. So you wanna be able for your body to be able to absorb that as fast as possible. You know, that, that's usually the last meal that you eat before you go into battle because now your body starts to be nervous and you can't really eat as much as you want to. Do you have a favorite Nigerian dish that you like to eat? Do I? There's a couple. Our jollof rice in Nigeria is, is, is a staple with, of course, fish, fried fish. I also love uh, to eat paradiam. We call that fufu. I love that. What will we never see in your fridge? Hmm. I would say maybe pork chops, maybe chitlins. Now we're, we're kind of getting a lot more health conscious. So even the meats are starting to kind of dwindle away from the fridge. So. We don't really do a lot of meats anymore. We're doing a lot more fish for as far as a source of protein. Do you like to cook? I do absolutely cook. Now, not as much as I used to. Now it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit harder to find the time to actually sit and cook a whole meal when I'm kind of in a place where I can have someone come and cook it for me, which sounds horrible to say, but the convenience of time is very, very important to me right now. So my go-to, Still is breakfast. I'm certified, got a diploma to make a breakfast. So you want breakfast? I got you. I'm very good at rice. You eat my rice, you say, hey, I gotta come back to get some more rice from you. So my rice is amazing. Do you drink coffee? I do drink coffee, but coffee I, I use only as a stimulant. I'm not, I'm not big into coffee on a daily basis. Two or three days that I have sparring, I have to get a little bit of coffee. What is your go-to comfort food? I was never big into sweets. I never ate candy. Since we hit 30, we started to kind of fall in love with cookies. Me and my daughter, every now and again, we'll say, hey, we need to make some cookies, and we'll make some cookies. And I have another recipe, the secret recipe taught to me by my man, my big bro, Sugar Rashad Evans. And uh, we make some chocolate chip Oreo Reese's cookie muffins. Just, just think about that. Cookie muffins. All right, it's rapid fire time. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Oh, deadlift. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Crossfit, yay or nay? Yay. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells. <clears throat> Cardio or weights? Cardio. Big legs or big arms? <sighs> big legs. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Muhammad Ali. Dead or alive, who would be on your dream fight card? Francis Ngannou. All right, guys. So now you see my gym. Now you see my fridge. It's how the pound for pound cake gets it down.